guys and welcome to my channel and today um, if you notice we're doing something a little bit different um so we don't have our mod tester family here with us because we don't actually need them for this but we are on an empty lot and as you see as you can see we have uh, a bunch of shelves hutches tables and I'm sure you could tell by the title um, that we're gonna be testing a mod for adding slots to all of these so we're gonna go through and most of the shelves and such should be pretty similar. Most of the hutches should be pretty similar. Well, actually, the hutches actually probably won't be similar. Um, but, like, all the accent tables should all be pretty similar in how many items you can put on, what kind of items you can put on, that sort of thing. So, we're going to go through and just add in some decorative items. Um, we're going to start over here at the shelves. We're just going to find some small decorative items. Now, this mod says that you can then essentially add... A crap ton more stuff like this you could put one here one here and that's it so that's it for that um, yeah you can get two on this oh wait a second oh maybe you can get a third maybe we can get a third no we cannot get a third um, that one apparently is not slottable oh there we go like we have to find something that can be slotted um, yeah, unfortunately, the big shelf there, that's it for it. And so you, this mod's really going to be helpful and useful. If you're like me and you put a lot of, um, you like to put a lot of decor items in. Well, you see that's slottable, but it's too big. Okay, so that can be slotted there. I'm just trying to find some stuff here that we can slot into these and help us really determine essentially how many items we can fit on each shelf. This one looks like two. Uh, yeah, it looks like most most Sims items can fit between about two and three um, per shelf, depending on what kind of shelf and uh, the size of the shelf. Like this one looks like we can do three, but this one we can only do two. Um, the trophy case here, I'm not sure if this is included in it, so we're just going to try it out here. And I'm going to leave all these items here so, so we can see if we can get more uh, slots on them. Unless they turn them into custom content. And then at that point I'm not really quite sure what to do. If you really want the truth. Hey, I didn't know you could put that in there. Can you put it in there? Why can't you put it in there? Why? That would be perfect for it. I'm always so confused as to what you can put on these tables. But what and what you cannot. Like... This has always confused the living crap out of me. Because I'm like... This one I think you can use the bottom shelves if you fill all the top shelves first. Oh, this one's got a lot of slots on it to start with. This has a grotesque amount of slots. Did drop one over here, though. Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. And we're just gonna... And then some more slots. Okay, so there's that. Some of these says you can now also slot them for different size TVs. Um, let's go try some TVs now. Yeah, like this. This table cannot be used for TVs. This one's got a stand. Any others with a stand? Nope, that's a wall one. That's way too big. Um, yeah, I don't think you can put this on any of these accent tables like you thought you would be able to. Because they're like perfect size for it. Uh, can't even put it on that hutch. Anything else we can attempt to attach this to? No. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, you're supposed to also be able to attach TVs and radios. Um, I think, yeah, some tables you can put the radios on. I know that for sure. Um, but it's only some of them. Which I personally find to be super lame. Because I'm like, why can't it go on that table but not on the rest of these? Oh, well, it looks like we can put it on, we can put it on these ones. We can put it on most of the hutches. Okay, that that's not true. We can put it on like three of the, oh, we could put it on top of that one. Doesn't make any sense though, the stereo would fall off either way. Great job there, Sims. I love you, I love the Sims team to death, I do. Some of the stuff I'm kind of like, why? That's all I'm asking. I just, I just want to know why. I don't care otherwise. Uh, so that's a pretty basic one. Um, I'll put out some stereos here and some TVs so we can put them in uh, when we get back. 
Oh, let's get some TVs. We'll put these on the ground here. Maybe we're maybe we're a salesman and we'd like to put all of our TVs and stuff with uh, appropriate sized hutches, along with some radios. We want to sell all this. Let's go through get a couple more decorative items uh, out here. Because I definitely want to see about trying out all these to see what all we can fit on them. Books. And can we put a crate? Nope. Can't put a crate. Oh, we can put some laundry soup, though. Um, so the way this mod is actually broken down, if you go on to mod the Sims, it's, it's kind of broken up a bit differently than you would traditionally expect. Each pack has to be modded separately. So the creator ended up going through and um, added separate slots for each item. And by the way, that creator, by the way, who so, so I can give them that shout out, is SimC45. Um, they are on Mod the Sims. And of course, as always, the mods are listed down below. This way you can go and check them out for yourself if you like them. Oh, apparently that's it for that table. Well, we can put some smaller stuff up here, though. I've always been really disappointed with the amount of slots on some of these shelves. Because I'm like, you could totally fit more items. But... Um, that one is now full. Like, look at this. There's a giant space here. I know on one of the mods, it does say... It does specify you have to have move objects on in order to slot them. Um, in order for them to slot correctly. But otherwise... Um, but it's only on one of them, I believe. Um, I will double check in the meantime after um, after we're done with all this. Oh, you actually can fit something on there. I was beginning to think that you could not. You can put stuff up top up here. Let's see. Okay, that's way too big. Can we slot this up there? Aw, oh, dang it. That's too big. I was hoping, but... What is the maximum amount of slots we can get on this one? Five, six, seven? Still not bad. I'm not sure if we can slot... Oh, we can. We can. I thought... I didn't think you could. Oh, doggy treats up top. Why not? Some barbecue stuff. Uh, no lemons, apparently. Oh, those went up top. Those went straight up top. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm hoping like this mod will also allow us to have bigger slots on some of these. Because um, some of these items, I definitely want to be able to have more objects on them, but I also want to be able to have bigger objects on them. Like, we're filling these up pretty quick. So we will definitely uh, take a look and see. That's too big. I'm going to put some bowling pins on here. Why not? Maybe they have a bowling uh, trophy. Maybe a few of them. Alright, this one. By the way, I am just putting mo the most random stuff in here. Just so we can kind of uh, get an idea of what all we can actually fit in here. Why don't we put some picture frames in here? Uh, and a terrible knife block. That's too big to go in there. Yeah, you can put some gardening stuff in there. That's a good idea. Uh, why don't we put some perfume in here? Oh, that actually might be kind of cute. Make it like a perfume case. That would actually be kind of cute. Uh, but we're not doing that at the moment. We're just kind of trying to fill this thing. Yeah, let's get some CDs in here. Oh, you can fit stuff up top, too. Uh, get some spices up here. Can we put anything else in here? Oh, we can put a couple more up here. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Alright, that's full. Those are all full. Um, we have some examples of what you can fit here. Oh, we did not fill this table. Uh, that one's good now. Can we fit anything else on that one? No. I haven't even found a single item we can put in here, so I don't know if this one even counts. Uh, we'll keep it here just in case, like the mod does make it so you can add them in there. That'd be kind of great. Um... Oh, oh, I found a trophy. You can put a trophy in here. Put a couple trophies in here. Alrighty, I think that's pretty much it. Just want to make sure. Oh, we can put a couple more things up here on top. Just taking one good last look around. Okay, so you've gotten a pretty good idea 
of what can I actually fit and what cannot. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, Minnie. How many, how many more slots can we find here on some of these hutches? Oh, there's another one there? What? Okay. I think, I think that's it now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to exit the game, I'm going to load the mod into the game, and then I will be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, we're back. And so, um, I kind of noticed a small, small problem. Um, so, I did save, and I exited, and then put the mods in, came back, and I'm noticing a lot of the decorative items we originally laid down are gone. Like, all these uh, hutches over here... Uh, we put a whole bunch of stuff on them, and it's all gone now. All these shelves, all gone. Um, there's a couple things like this and this that stayed exactly the same. Um, these tables were exactly the same. Um, but otherwise, and, and this and this one, and these two. Like, these four also remained exactly the same, This and this one. Um, otherwise, all this stuff kind of disappeared, so we're going to kind of have to put it back on there uh, the way it was originally. Uh, but that's no big deal. So now that we have the mod installed, um, which um, I don't, I'm not sure if I explained this in detail enough before, I don't think I did. Uh, but essentially, each pack has to be done separately, so you have to download each pack as you have them. However, if you have all the packs listed, you can download a merged file and then... You only have to worry about one file for all of the expansion packs plus get base game. So, um, if you have base game and get famous, you only have to download base game and get famous. Or you technically can only download those two because if you download the merge file, it's not going to work correctly. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, but if you have, let's say, cats and dogs and get to work, you can just download those one, download those ones plus base game. So, it does give you that option. Now, if you have, like, every pack except for, like, Laundry Day, that's really going to suck because Laundry Day was included. You have to download each one individually. So, just keep that in mind when you are looking for this game. Um, so, you remember how we couldn't put a, t a TV on any of these? Let's see. Ooh, oh, my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, that one we still can't, which kind of sucks. Um... Yeah, those two, for some reason, you still can't. But still. Um, plus those three. We can still pretty much put this on a lot more options than we had before. So we're going to put up some TVs, I guess. Maybe we'll put them in the back since they're kind of big and they take up a lot of room. Um, ooh, our stereos can now be, ooh, slotted into multiple slots on here. I think I like that best. Ooh, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Okay, hold that. Ooh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at you. Oh, it's still only the middle or the, it's still only the left or the right side, but not the middle. I was kind of hoping for it to be able to be in the middle, but unfortunately can't. Um, what about this? Oh, no, you still can't do that. Okay, so this one doesn't count. That one didn't have anything added to it. How about this one? Okay, let's get some small items here and see if we can... Uh... Alright, so it doesn't look like this shelf changed at all, so we're going to delete this one. I think the items that had items remain on them didn't change. I think is what the main um, thing is here for them. Um... Because then you can kind of see the fact that the items, like, oh, we can still, we can add a couple more items into this one as well. Oh, that's it. That one's still pretty full, so we're going to delete this one. I'm pretty sure I just didn't fill the slots on that one. Um, I'd say maybe move that one down. We can move this one down. This one's kind of shorter. Um, but it does look like all these changed... Now, some of these had multiple items on them. Oh, it looks like we might have some more slots available for this one. Let's see. Uh, no. Alright, so it does look like we're getting more and bigger slots, but it doesn't quite work that way on every item. 
But I do believe we can actually, like, fill the shelves now instead of just kind of going off and going, eh, yeah, I guess that's close enough. Wait, I don't think we could put this up here before. Can I put this down here? <gasps> this might be, like, the turning point for me. I think I might actually have to keep this mod. I think this might be one I really want to keep. Um, most of these mods I try out, I don't generally keep them. Um, because to me, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, we still can't put that. Can we put another box down there? No. That's still only one slot from the looks of it. Yeah, because no matter what I'm doing, it's not letting me put anything else. Ooh, oh, we just have to have a smaller item. Okay, maybe it has to be a baby item. Can we put more baby items? We can put more baby items. Okay, fair enough. Oh my god, there's so many more slots on this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, let's delete some of these. And we'll put up a different item. Now, there's still like this weird thing where you still can't put anything here. Um, but it's a lot more items than we could fit on there before and they all kind of fit in there nicely so they're not sticking out the back they're not sticking out the front um, what about this one I don't know if this one even changed any um, let's delete this can we put more than Ooh. nope four items that's it but still this is pretty nice this is this is actually really freaking nice um, and this means that you don't have to have the move objects cheat on in order to, um, oh, you know what? Wait a second. Let me, let me turn that on. Cause I know on one of the mods, it did say that we had to have move objects on in order for it to work properly. Um, let me find which one that is. Uh, I think it was the hutches. Nope. Shelving then? Hmm. Oh, in order to place medium and large items on the shelves, you will need to activate the BB.MoveObjects on cheat. Okay, so let me, so it's medium and large objects. So I'm not quite sure what's all, I think this is classified as small, but I think this is classified as a meat. Oh, I guess it is classified as a small. Maybe, let me, let me put in uh, a cheat here. BB dot move objects on. Oh my god, how else if I can type move objects on? There we go. So the move objects cheat is now on. Let's see. Okay, that's classified as a large item, I know. Oh, okay. So then they'll actually slot to the shelf, but it's gonna kind of, uh, it kind of sticks off. Um, this would probably be better up here. There we go, because then you can see that it properly fits on the shelf. What's another, is this classified as, that's classified as a large item, but it seems to fit, or probably a medium item actually, but it seems to fit on the shelf just fine. Um, what about this jack-o'-lantern? Ooh. Where'd it go? Y'all, I think I'm in love. Again, <laughs> I'm obviously in love with my husband, but that's not the point. Um, oh my God, this is so nice. There's so many possibilities with this now. Um, I don't know if it was with all of them. Let's let's check here too. <gasps> yes, because you could. You, I don't know if you guys remember. We could only put like the trophies on there. Like we tried to put other objects in there, and it just would not handle it. Where, oh, the Nutcracker's like way too big. <gasps> we can put presents in here now. Oh my god, that's so cute. <gasps> yeah, I think I'm keeping these. I'm not sure how practical it'll be considering the fact that I like to build and upload. Um, but... Oh my god, this is so nice. I don't know if these items will stay. So, the last final test I'm going to do, which I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, uh, considering the fact that all the items disappeared when I had uh, restarted the game, I'm not sure if they'll stay 
Um, or you know what we also could do? I'm going to upload this to the gallery real quick, or at least upload it to my, um, no, don't move, uh, save. I'm going to save it to my library for now. Um, and then I'm going to come back in and try it and see if the item stays. If they do, fantastic. If not, well, then we'll download the lot and we'll see if they stay then. Because um, that's what I really want to test is if somebody downloads an ob an item that I have or a house from, that I have from the gallery and put it in here, then I want to make sure that the items will still stay where they are. And if not, I want to know why. You know, so I'm also going to turn off move objects on. So I'm going to turn off. Um, and then I will come back and we will be right back, guys. I will see you guys then. Alrighty, guys, I am back. So it looks like the exact same thing happened. When I took the mods out, it ended up deleting all those items. So, but here is a good test. Let's go ahead and we will download or replace this lot with the lot I saved to my um, library. So I'm going to go ahead and download this lot, furnish. Yes, I want to continue. That's really sad because that's like that was a big game changer for me here. It really was. I was so stupid excited for that, and the exact same problem is going to happen regardless. <sighs> that really makes me kind of sad. It really does. Because, um, like I said, I like to upload a lot of things to the gallery, so I might see about having the mods in when I'm just doing my Let's Plays. Um, but I might see about just removing them when I go to build because if the place isn't going to look exactly how they expect it to on the gallery, then I want to know, does it look, does it have all those objects on there? Let's find out. Let's go to my library here. It kind of does. You can't really see well from here, but I can kind of see... Um, especially here you can see the fact there's a bunch of objects in here and a bunch of objects in uh, this one here. So yeah that kind of that kind of makes me really sad. I'm actually really kind of sad about that. <sighs> now if you're not a big builder, if you're not a big uploader, um, if you want to just for your game, I mean go right on ahead. I mean the only thing that you're gonna find is that if you do that kind of thing, you're just gonna find that the items are just aren't just gonna be there. Which isn't that big of a deal if you're just playing your own save files and all that kind of stuff. So if you're just looking for a mod to help add some extra slots and stuff like that, then I hope you enjoy I hope this mod works for you. I hope you love it. Um, so my final thoughts on this mod, because um, we're going to wrap up this video here. My final thoughts are, it's a great mod. It really is. It does exactly what you want it to, and it, it gives you so many more options for where to put items on the shelves, and it's beautiful, and I love it. But on the other hand, if you don't have it installed, it's kind of... It doesn't... You can't download things from the gallery if you don't have the mods installed and expect them to come out properly. Like, we can't even have anything that would normally be slotted on there. Because you can see this hutch over here, which we put a bunch of stuff on, and there would have been a bunch, uh, at least a bunch of, like, intermittent items. Um, but it's... <sighs> you would have thought they would have left something. Um, like, let's see. Yeah, there's at least a couple of them here that, like, that one's the same, that one's the same, and that one's the same. If it worked where it just took away the extra slots, then it'd be, it, it, I would probably say it isn't as a pretty good mod that you, people can just live without the extra items. They'll be fine. Um, but if it's going to erase everything off the shelves, then there's kind of no real point. Now, to be fair, I don't have many houses where I'm going to have this many shelves, this many TV stands, and this many hutches in it, but still, the principle remains. Um, so I think if you don't if you don't upload that often to the gallery, um, or if you just don't care, I mean that works too. Um, then definitely download this mod. It's a great mod. It's it's definitely one of the best I've seen out there. It it's worth it. The creator gets should get more downloads and more favorites than they currently have from this. It's pretty awesome. 
Um, but like I said, unfortunately, it's just I don't know, honestly, if I'm going to keep it right now. Um, I will keep it on my desktop in case I change my mind. Um, but that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, so definitely leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions all down below. What do you think of this mod? Um, do you think it's great? Do you think it's terrible? Um, th by the way, these are three separate mods, by the way. There's one for the shelves, one for the accent tables, and one for the hutches. So keep that in mind. There is three separate mods for this entire thing. So anyway, I'm going to leave this right here. So definitely leave those comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, all my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And we do live stream on Twitch three times a week. Um, so definitely go and check us out over there. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope to see you guys there. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you did like it. This way you can catch more videos just like this one. And since you guys like me doing mod reviews, I'll definitely keep doing them. Um, so anyway, don't forget to subscribe. And I will... Um, See you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.